Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Shuichi's Path. So y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes will entertain you. And Alarm Chan, you're up. Ooh, excuse me, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> I've known you 12 years. The mystery is already dead and buried. But who killed it? Now that's a mystery. You're an idiot. You love me. My point still stands. I try to pretend like I don't notice his tail wagging the entire time we're talking. Even when he's being pouty or acting all grumpy like he is now. I quickly go to the laundry room and grab a few fresh towels to put away. Twitchy follows me around, chatting while I finish organizing everything to make sure I'm ready for the trip. At least he's right at least he's right in that in that reading him now. At least he's right in that reading him now and feeling how he's definitely is at least he's right in that reading him and how he's feeling is definitely no mystery, sorry. For instance, it's pretty clear when his mood is starting to tank and I should change the subject on him. Then again, he's never been the best at masking, masking his emotions at the first place. Which just makes me wonder how the hell I managed to not notice this feeling, these feel, his feelings for so long. I really don't want to call myself enormously dense, but I seriously can't think of another reasonable explanation. Hello, or to you. Did you zone out on me? N no, I was listening. I wasn't saying anything. I mean, I was trying to think of what I should say. You might just be an even worse liar than me. No way. I'm a much better liar than you. You've lied to you tons without you noticing. Is that so? Okay, then. Tell me something you've lied to me about before. Go on. I'm waiting. On second thought... Yes? Crap. I might have shot myself in the foot here. Oh, God. Sometime later. Once I was sure I wasn't forgetting anything else, I closed up my bag and dropped it next to the shoe, ra the shoe rack by the front door. Luckily, Aki had made his way downstairs by then, so I didn't have to go fetch him so we could all walk to go to school together. Service Ace! I wish I, I wish you could have seen it! Huh. <laughs> it does sound pretty awesome, Aki-kun. Sounds like you've been improving lots recently. I have! Aki wastes no time in hogging Shuichi's attention, regaling to him stories of his recent practice sessions with great enthusiasm. I don't whether to be jealous over my boyfriend or my little brother. Either way, it feels weird to be ignored this hard. And again, Aki always seems more energetic when Shuichi or Asaya are around, so it's no surprise there. And it's not like he hasn't told me these stories a few days ago already. It's been a while since I've last watched you play. Maybe I should drop by someday and see for myself just how much you've improved, eh, Aki? I try interjecting, mostly so I don't keep myself, so I don't keep getting left out of their conversation. Ooh, that's a great idea. There we go. Why don't you come watch me play sometime, Shuichi D? Come on, pretty please. Yeah, of course I would. I'll try to find some time for it. So close yet, so far. You sure get excited about spending time with Shuichi, huh? Of course, I really get to nowadays. Is it really that rare? Don't... D d don't let him guilt trip you, Shuichi. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to. I know that Shuichi and he's very busy. That's why I don't say anything most of the time. But if I'm given the chance to hang out like we used to a few years ago, I'll take it. Ah! How come? Come on, don't look so down, you. How come you're only this cute when Shuichi's around? What am I, what am I, chopped liver? That's what you're worrying about? And that's why I don't get excited about spending time with you as much anymore. No fair! Your friend, you tried to forbid me from going to a friend's house last week. Shuichi? Don't try to make, don't try to make me out to be unreasonable here. You know it was because he had fleas. Oh, that actually is not a bad... In third grade. He had fleas in third grade. Yuichi. But what? What's, what's with that look? Don't look at me with those judgy eyes. Heh. <laughs> and don't stay quiet either. Say something. All that aside, I can try to take some free time for after Yuichi gets back from the tournament to try and visit. Maybe I could even spend the night. Last time I did, you weren't home, so we didn't get to see each other. Yay, I'd love that. Wait, wasn't the last time Shuichi spent the night when we... Oh. I'm so glad Aki wasn't home then. Aniki, is something wrong? Do you not like the idea of Shuichi coming for a sleepover? Huh? Why would you ask that? Because you have a weird look on your face. No, not at all. It's been a while since Shuichi spent the night. Of course I'd want to have him over. It's not the kind of thing I can mention when my little brother is around. I'll make sure to have a talk with Shuichi later about expectations if he's going to come over to spend the night like that. I'm fine with cuddling and sharing a bed, but I'd rather not feel pressured into anything past that. If the mood's right, then maybe. I'd just rather know that he's not expecting it. <sighs> Am I overthinking this? Are you sure you're okay? You know, you're, now your face is getting a bit red. What? Whoa! Ooh, that's, it's true. Aniki, do you have a fever? 
These aren't the droids you're looking for! The hell's that supposed to mean, weirdo? <laughs> ah, random Star Wars references when you're when you're when you're in an awkward situation. I think I've heard Sayuni mutter that once before she was flustered. Huh. Ah, interesting. Sometime later. We kept going for a little longer than I for a little longer while I tried switching the subject of conversation. Eki and Shuichi kept asking for a bit to make sure if it was okay, but I think I did a decent job of distracting them. As soon as we got to the school gates, Aki waved us goodbye and started jogging on his way to his own school. No rush while he's walking with us, but as soon as he's on his own... I guess I can't blame him for having his own priorities. Plus, it's nice to not walk to school alone. Shuichi, too, had, Shuichi too had to head somewhere else, going to the adjoining building as soon as we entered the courtyard. Heading to the student council room, no doubt. On the other hand, it does leave me with a lot of time to myself. Back when I first started getting to school this early, I could do, I could do homework or review notes before class started. But now that I'm all caught up, it feels like there's nothing left for me to do. I've got most of our current subjects committed to memory, not to mention having finished all my homework before even leaving school yesterday. Might be a tad too efficient. Hmm, I wonder if Saya is here yet. I should probably check, with, check in with her in preparation for the trip tonight. All set for trip tonight? Yeah, finished packing last night. You? Uh, this morning. Almost forgot my towels, lol. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not lending you mine if you forget again. Last time I had to get new ones because they stunk. I said almost! You've been warned. Anyway, did you get everything you needed? Yeah, just need to buy some new some new strings and tape before we leave. Oh, right, you should probably buy- I should probably- I should probably buy some too. Didn't you say you already finished packing? So did you! Ugh, she's giving me a headache sometimes. It's a good thing she reminded me about the strings and tape. It's been a while since I've restringed my rackets. I've played a lot since then. The tension's been feeling a little off recently, but I kept forgetting to change them. I might drop by the store with Saya when she goes to buy her things. In the meantime, I should probably start looking over the scheduling so I can prepare myself accordingly. In the second seed... I'm in the second seed, so it's a given that I'll face Tanabe if I get all the way to the finals. KSK is the sixth seed. Not a bad place to be given that the Kanto Regionals are a 64-man competition. There are only 16 seeded slots in it. Considering how much he's developed recently, I can only come up with a handful of people that will show up in this competition that I can imagine being able to beat him. Tanabe and me are pretty much a given. Keikun's improved, but he can't take a set from me yet. If he can't manage that, there's no way he can beat Tanabe. Kitamaya in... Kiku... Ki... Kiko Chihara in the 3rd and 4th seeds would probably be tough matchups, but I think he's good enough to beat them by now if the videos of the last performances in the prefectural tournaments are anything to go by. Besides, with their positions in the bracket, they wouldn't come across each other until at least the semifinals. I don't want to be a dick and say that there's no way he's getting that far, but there's no way he's getting that far. And there's Yuyukun. Losing to him and not getting a place in the Saitama prefectural finals is the reason Keisuke dropped from his previous 5th seed that he had last year. Despite his performances and his outstanding finish in the prefectural finals, he didn't get a seated position in this competition. This is his first time in the U18 League, so he doesn't have a prior ranking, so he doesn't have prior rankings to get him a seated position in the Kanto tournament. Heikun did say something about him rising up very far in the U15 rankings after I got into high school, but I didn't hear much about him. I'm guessing he hadn't managed to make much of a splash past the regional rankings yet. Due to me being second and Heikun sixth, we would probably face each other in the semifinals, if he gets that far at least. As for Yukon, with his current place in the bracket, he'd have to beat Keisuke to take his place in the semis for him and for him and I to play against each other. Hmm. I said that my odds of playing against Keikun are almost guaranteed unless there's some kind of some kind of upset. For Yukon, his first match is is against uh, Kiriyama Kun. Eh. Oh God. Hair. Ah, oh, hair in my tongue. Okay. Kiriyama is a very strong player, though I do tend to beat him every time we play each other. I'd say that between him and Yuyukun, odds are probably 40-60 in favor of Yuyukun. And if Keisuke and Kitayama were to match up, well, Keisuke's style is similar to Tanabe's and Kitayama struggles the most against Tanabe. Odds are he would have trouble dealing with Keisuke. I will admit that I'd rather play Kitayama. Uh, Yuyukun is way too unpredictable and annoying to deal with. Playing against him once was enough for me. Don't get me wrong, I love playing against good players. If it gets my adrenaline running, and it's the best experience. But there's a certain level of frustration when you're playing against someone like Yuya. Every time I thought I'd hit a winner, the dude would somehow reach the ball. Morning! Mayor twitches at the sound of a certain tiger's voice, pulling away from my thoughts and causing me to look up just in time to see June setting his bag down and taking his seat. Morning! You got here early today. Early? There's only ten minutes until class starts. Wait, really? Whoa, have I been spacing out for that long? That's scary. I guess I need to pay a little more attention. Probably for the best. 
You don't want to be that kind of person that's always spacing out. Others will start to think you're some kind of airhead. You have absolutely zero right to say that to me. None whatsoever. And by the way, isn't today the day that you're going to be traveling for the competition? Yep, I finished packing this morning. I need to swing by the sports gear store later to have my rackets restrained. If it's anything like restringing a piano, then it sounds like a plant. Sounds like a pain. Pianos have strings. Uh, yeah. How do you think they make sound? But where are the strings? You're press. You're pressing keys, right? You're not playing strings. Yuichi said the keys just bring down a little hammer inside the piano that hits the strings. That's what makes it play. Whoa, for real? You've literally seen me play piano with the lid popped open. How do you not know this? As if I'd be paying attention to the inside of the piano. I don't want to judge you, but I'm judging you. Oh, shut up. You asked me a ton of dumb questions when you came to the sports store with me. You're bringing that up now? That was months ago. You're damn right I am. Absolutely refuse to be judged like this. I ain't taking this lying down. You're mean. I disagree. Of course you would. That proves nothing. Uh, we have one vote that says I'm mean and one vote that says I'm not. Since, since this is a draw, the motion is denied. Whatever you say. Good. I managed to change the subject successfully. Granted, June doesn't look all that happy about it, but, eh, we all have to make sacrifices. How's Shuichi? Shuichi-san, by the way. Uh, the things were a, things were a bit awkward yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah, Hitoka-chan can be a lot. The kiss a few days ago was already awkward enough, but she also kept paying a ton of attention to you yesterday and ignoring everyone else. She did? I thought she was talking normally. She kept looking at you. Everyone else tends to look at whoever is talking at the moment, but she had her eyes on you most of the time. The only other person who does that is Shuichi-san, and for obvious reasons. You mean you could pick up on that kind of thing? I never would have noticed myself. Jeez, you really are sharper than you look, June. Stop insulting the tiger, Jesus. You are you kind of get good at reading people when you want to figure out ways to bring attention away from yourself. Away from yourself? Why would you want to, why do you want to do that? You're a performer. I thought you liked having people pay attention to you. That's a whole other story. Hey, did you do yesterday's homework? I could do with some help going over my answers. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, what do you need? June pulls out a few of his notebooks, asking me to check some of his answers and then taking a look at mine to figure out what he did wrong. I do my best to correct him in a way that he can understand the material, but it doesn't take long until I notice him fidgeting in his seat. Getting him to study really is a challenge sometimes. Shuichi will be fine. I'll talk to him after I come back from my competition. Besides, he'll come down to watch me play sometime. I always cheer Shuichi up. It feels like a bit of a brag. A brag? Your boyfriend likes you so much that just getting to watch you play completely cheers him up and cleanses his bad mood. That's... that's not how I meant it at all! Oh, sure, of course it wasn't. You've got a lot of clip on you today, Kobayashi. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Admittedly, there is very little I can do, or that I'm willing to do. I could pinch your cheek and get you to submit, but people tend to glare at me whenever I put my hands on you, even as a joke. June's pretty much turned into the class's mascot by now. It's like people are rallying around him and forming the June Defense Force lately. Which is such an unbelievably weird thing to say. Thought so. I didn't say anything. Exactly. Gosh, just wait till I. You just wait until I catch you somewhere without other people around. Wait, no, that sounded horrible. What, what am I, some kind of punk? You're such a handful sometimes. <laughs> By the way, do you have a chronogram for your matches to that tomorrow? I need to know what time to take the train where I need to go and where I need to go. You sure? You don't have to come. I know it's a school day and everything. Like, that would stop me from going. I know that you're not that focused on your studies, but you should try to care at least a little. Well, okay, let me pull up the information I have. Maybe you could go with Aki. His club is looking into charting a bus to uh, take students. But you two could take the train together, too, so long as he has an adult with him. I wouldn't mind that. I like spending time with Aki, Aki Yoshikun. I give June a quick rundown of the, my itinerary, letting him know where the venue is, what time the event starts, and what buses he can take to get there. The works. Just to be safe, I write it down into a random page on the back of my notebook, ripping it out and handing it to him. The last thing I need is for him to forget and get lost. And considering I once seen, I once saw him getting lost downtown, this is a very real possibility. Oh man, the matches start at 10? I'm gonna have to wake up really early to catch the train then. <sighs> Not really. If you get on, eight, on the 8 a.m. bus, that should give you enough time. Like I said, you don't have to... One second, there we go. Okay. I'm coming. End of discussion. All right, all right, you don't have to bite my head off. Sheesh. Someone's snippy today. I'll try asking Shuichi-san about it. Maybe the three of us can go together. Shuichi won't be coming tomorrow. Huh? Out of everyone, I'd expect Shuichi-san to be the first one there. What do you mean he's not going? I'd like for him to be there too, but his dad told him we couldn't go. At least not tomorrow. 
maybe for the second and third days of competition, and only really for afternoon matches. Yeah. <laughs> but are you serious? Now that's just cruel. Why not let him go? Boo! Why are you booing me? I have nothing to do with it. I'm not booing you. I'm booing the situation. Well, the situation can't listen to your boos, so right now you're just booing me. If I remember correctly, it's something about Shuichi having missed his few school assignments recently. His dad is forcing him to stick around tomorrow to finish them. And knowing him, he might miss the second day, too, if he can't finish them all in a single day. Uh, as if Shuichi-san didn't already do enough. Who cares if he missed a couple assignments? It's not like they're worth anything in the first place. You would think that, but... It's okay, some people just don't have the luxury of missing out on class and school or for a basic sporting event. But... Seriously, June. It's okay. I would much rather you stop talking about it, if I'm honest. I prefer not being reminded of it, thank you very much. I'm sorry. There's really nothing that can be done that can't be done about it. Besides, knowing Shuichi, he'll probably finish it all in a couple of hours and, like he said, be there the first thing in the afternoon for the second day. I guess. Come on, I'm trying my best to stay cheerful about it. You could at least try. Hmm? What? Just considering something. Considering what? Don't worry about it. If you of all people tells me not to worry about it, that just makes me worry even more. I don't know if you've noticed, but your casual, your casually ditzy attitude doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Sure, it's better than being aloof, but still. Oh, I was hoping it would take a bit longer for class to start. You knew exactly what time it was when you got here. What did you expect? For time to slow down? It sure would be nice. Class is boring. I really wonder how you even managed to get into this school sometimes. Later that night? <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Once lunch time came around, actually, what time is it? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Oh, God, hiccups. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.